Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to uninstall, download, and reinstall Minecraft. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First, a few words of caution. Your single player worlds, screenshots, and inventories in them will be deleted when you remove these files. This will not affect your online servers like Hyperpixel and things like that though. So no worries about any of your online servers. This will only affect your single player offline games. If you want to keep your saved world screenshots and other files, make sure to save them on your computer before you want to install Minecraft or they will be lost forever. I will go through this process if you want to keep your saved worlds. Just follow along. I'll cover two ways to find the files. One is by clicking the start menu and typing in run. You just want to click the app, it'll look like this, and you click run. The other way is by pushing the Windows key plus R at the same time, and it'll bring up this here box. Once this here box comes up, whether way uh, you type in run or use the Windows plus R key, all you need to do is type in percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign, so app data, whether it was run or Windows R, and click OK. This is going to lead you to the .minecraft folder and all we want to do is click that folder. This is where you're going to find your saved worlds and your screenshots and any other data that you might want to keep in here. Like your resource packs, you may want to keep that as well. This is where your saved files, your screenshots, any backups you may want to keep. This is where it's going to be. Now uh, select the ones that you want. You want to save these. You go to copy and I suggest just pasting them on your desktop right like that. And then your saved folders will be here. Some people like to keep their screenshots. So we're just going to copy and paste that. Don't drag and drop them. You definitely want to copy paste them. Um, if you drag and drop them, it'll take the folder out of here and put them over here. And you may not want that. So just copy paste them for now. That should work fine. Okay, after you're done copying all of these ones here that you want, we put them on the desktop so that we would have an easy time finding them for when we go to put them back later on. So make sure that when you're copy pasting these, you put them somewhere that's easy to find so that you'll be able to put them back easy later on. If you're not saving any of this here stuff, this uh, step won't apply to you and you can skip it. If you have any issues moving any of these here folders or it says still running, if you come across that at all, just restart your computer and that will fix the error message. Sometimes if you were just playing Minecraft, it doesn't close down correctly all the way and copying these here files over, it may say you can't or need administrator permissions because the folder is in use. Just restart your computer to fix that. If it ever pops up doing, through this whole process, just stop what you're doing, restart. And when you restart, it'll be closed and you'll be able to move the files correctly or delete them and uh, later on in the step we will come across that too when you're removing the dot minecraft folder and the uninstall process if it comes up with that error just restart your computer to fix it all right if you have everything you want saved we'll get to uninstalling it from here we just want to click the start menu and go to the settings cog right here this is going to bring up a few options and right here in apps it's going to say uninstall default optional and features we want to click that this is where you're going to find minecraft this is going to be in alphabetical order so we're just going to go down and find the m's all right and there we go there's our minecraft launchers there's more than one because we do have minecraft studios windows 10 version of minecraft on here so we're going to uninstall them all just to make sure that they the correct one is uninstalled then click the uninstall if you wanted to find it otherwise we're going to continue uninstalling it but another way to find it is to click the start menu and type in control and get your control panel to come up. This will bring up the control panel app. Now there's a way to do it in here as well where you can just uninstall a program and the same way you can scroll down and find Minecraft like this here as well and uninstall it from here. So this is just an additional way. This is the old Windows uh, 7 way I think or Windows XP way and you'll be able to find your Minecraft launcher in there as well and click the uninstall. Either way will work just the same. Okay and we're going to uninstall it. Okay, and the last one, we're just going to uninstall them all. We can reinstall these later on. They're linked to your account. You won't not have to buy them again. All right, I just gave a refresh. And it's gone. At this here time of point, I'd usually restart my computer to start it over again. So at this here point, I suggest restarting your computer. Okay, and after that quick restart, you'll go in and do the exact same thing. We're going to hit the Windows key plus R, bring up this, or you can type in run and click OK. And we want to delete the .minecraft folder. So once you've saved everything, make sure you save it again before you do this. And make sure that you uninstall it. 
before you delete the dot minecraft folder that's very important if you delete it first and you go to uninstall it it won't allow you to uninstall it you'll have to reinstall and then uninstall it again before deleting the dot minecraft folder so keep that in mind make sure you do these steps in the correct order and now that it's uninstalled we'll click delete on this here dot minecraft folder okay and it's gone at this here point i'm just going to close that down and empty my recycling bin just so that i'm making sure that it's gone for good Okay, and by deleting the .minecraft folder, that gets rid of, if you're uninstalling this because you had any issues of any kind due to settings or whatever, uh, this should get rid of anything that was left behind. So a simple uninstall may leave you some things behind, like broken settings and stuff like that. This should get rid of all of the problems. So if you're having an issue with the settings like that you didn't have when you first installed Minecraft, this should reset all of your stuff back to brand new. So I definitely suggest deleting the .minecraft folder. It's very important if you're uninstalling it due to issues. Okay, and now that that's done, next, let's go download Minecraft. First, all we need to do is go to Minecraft.net. So in Google, we're just going to type in Minecraft and go to Minecraft.net. Sorry about that. Okay, from here, we'll log in. I'm already logged in, but you want to make sure you log in. And from this page, we'll click on Games and go to Minecraft. On this here page, we want to click Get Minecraft. From here, we click on PC, whatever one you're going for and click on PC again. Now make sure that you select the Java edition here and if it comes up and says you need to buy it again, you won't need to, trust me, you do not need to buy it again. If you've already purchased this, if you've logged in with your account, it should say download because you already own Minecraft, download it again and click the download. From here, it'll just bring you to the already own Minecraft, download it again, and download it for Windows 10 11. It'll be as simple as that there. And I will leave a link directly to this here page to make it easy to find login in or not. Because for some reason, people seem to think that they needed to rebuy the game to download it again. And I assure you, that's not how it works. If you bought the game, it's linked to your account and you own it on that account for life. I'll make sure to include the link in the description below. If you own the game, all you need to do is log in once it's downloaded. All right, once it's downloaded, we're just gonna click it here. You can open the folder and double click it as well. You have to accept the terms and install. And again, I'm gonna leave all of the links to the direct download so you don't even have to be logged in to download it. I'll leave all the links in the description below so you can definitely check those out. We can close the Minecraft website down. We don't, not, we don't need that anymore. And welcome to Minecraft, install is done, time to play. Click let's go. This will take a few minutes and it should just load right up into Minecraft. All right, once it loads in, it's going to give you two options. If you didn't already transfer your account over to a Microsoft login, you're going to have to do the Mojang login. This information should be the same, so other, either way should work. You'll just have to remember your account information and select the one that you want to go with and log in with your account information. The Windows login, if you've already linked your account, you won't have to use any of your password. If you have a Mojang account, you're going to have to remember your user's name and password. So once that information comes up, Let's click Let's Play. If you've linked your Microsoft account, that's as easy as it's going to be. It should log right into your information for you to go Let's Play. Once you click Play, it is going to download a little bit more updates. It's going to download whatever version of Minecraft. So it'll have to download an additional 522 megabytes as of this here 1.18 update. So just keep that in mind. This will take a little bit of time to, to download before you'll be able to play again. And once this is done, we'll be able to put our saved folders back. I want to make sure to log in first so that I can show you the process. Okay, there we go. After it's done downloading, it'll bring you to the normal Minecraft page where you can click single player, multiplayer, check your options. And in here, you'll be able to change things like your uh, GUI scaling and things like that. So if you make this full screen and like it's too big, you can, you know, change your GUI scaling just to make sure it's the right one for you. And we're going to turn down the sound here to 50% click done just so that it's not too loud. And in single player, there is no worlds. So currently we're gonna close that and we wanna add our screenshots and saved worlds back here now that we've completed the install. So again, we're going to click on the start menu, type in run, click that, or use the windows plus R at the same time and type in percent sign app data percent sign and click OK. This is going to bring you back to that dot Minecraft folder and here you're going to find your saves and no screenshots because this folder isn't created until you actually make some screenshots. You just want to drag these in. Actually, you just drag them in. Oops. 
you don't want to drag your screenshots inside there. So if you accidentally do that, just drag them back out. And you want to drag them in down here so that you're not putting them inside of a folder by accident. And there we go. Now the saved ones will be there and we'll load up Minecraft again. It didn't make a shortcut to the desktop for me. So we'll just type in Minecraft. We'll just click it for now. And we're going to scroll down here and find Minecraft here. So the Minecraft launcher, more options. We want to send this to the desktop. So we're just going to drag it like that so that it links to the desktop so that we can find it easier later on. We don't want to look everywhere forward or type it in every single time. And when we click play, this should load up Minecraft this time and we'll be able to see our saved worlds hopefully. Okay, single player, there's my worlds back. There we go, so that's all there is to it really. Your worlds are back, your screenshots are back, so things should be back to normal. Now if it was settings, hopefully it's not it's not back to normal if it's broken and hopefully this fixed everything. But that's everything there is to it. If you think I may have forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the description below. But if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching guys.